This is Cameron Chai, bring you another episode of Azo TV, and today I'm speaking to Brad Doddrell from Lakeshore, and he's going to tell us about their new 8400 series Hall Effect measurement system. Okay, good. Hi. Uh, yes, this is Lakeshore's new 8400 AC and DC field Hall Effect measurement system. Uh, Hall Effect measurements are used to characterize the electronic transport properties of semiconductor materials. Uh, Specifically, they are used to determine carrier type, carrier density, carrier mobility, and Hall coefficient. And these parameters are very important in connection with determining uh, the performance characteristics of any given semiconductor material in a practical device. Okay. Now, traditionally, Hall effect measurements are done using DC field techniques. However, DC field techniques are generally limited to measuring mobilities down to about one centimeter squared volt second. In the Model 8400, Lakeshore, in collaboration with Toyo Corporation in Japan, have developed a novel AC field measurement methodology that enables mobilities about a thousand times lower to be measured. That is down to about 0.001 centimeters squared volt second. And this is uh, very relevant uh, in connection with many contemporary materials of interest, for example, semiconductors for green energy applications, uh, such as thermoelectric materials, photovoltaic materials, as well as organic electronic materials. Many of these materials are characterized by inherently low mobilities that are very difficult, if not impossible, to measure using traditional DC field techniques, but these materials can be readily measured using this new AC field technique. Okay, so the uh, Model 8400 uh, provides for both AC and DC field Hall effect measurements. Uh, these, these systems can be used to measure mobilities ranging from 10 to the minus 3 to above 1 million centimeters squared volt seconds. Uh, resistances ranging from 10 micro ohms to over 200 giga ohms and also uh, these systems can be used to uh, characterize the electronic transport properties and materials over a very broad range of temperatures extending from below 15 Kelvin to a thousand degrees C. And what types of materials can these be used for? Things like solar cells? And solar like cells, photovoltaic materials, thermoelectric materials, uh, organic electronic materials, transparent conducting oxide materials, and any of the other basic elemental semiconductors. All right, so if anybody is interested in testing the, the electronic nature of those types of materials, they can find more information about the 8400 series Hall Effect measurement system on your website then? Yes, that's right, and it's www.lakeshore.com. All right, Brad, thanks for telling us about your new 8400 series Hall Effect measurement system. Okay, thank you very much.